Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is a general reading, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you and that is okay. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if you want. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And I'm sorry about that noise. It is actually my cat Manix. And he's in crazy mode right now, so he's trying to find things to play with and is scratching at the desk. Alright, let's hope he stops. Alright, so Sagittarius, let's see, what are the main energies? Alright, we have victim and we have separation. Okay, we just had separation for Leo as well. Um, All right, so it could be that there has been a separation and somebody is feeling um, a lot of grief when it comes to that, feels like a victim, feels like they can't manage the situation. And, and it could even be somebody feeling a victim when it comes to um, wanting to separate and feel like, feeling like they cannot. Give me one sec because he's just trying to destroy everything. Let's get into it and see what this is about. Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the first half of April. So for the situation, we have the sun crossed by the two of cups. Yeah, okay, so somebody is having a hard time moving towards their happiness. I feel like there is a situation here where somebody knows that it is something that will bring them happiness. It makes them feel very warm, very just, it just has a very positive vibe. It's very fulfilling, but for whatever reason, they're having a hard time really following their heart here. So let's see the recent past. We have the Nine of Cups. Near future, we have the Chariot. Okay, so yeah, again, it feels like this was something where you've had also a very beautiful past with this person. It was something that was very fulfilling. And I do see some movement coming up in the near future. For you, your energy here, we have the Ten of Wands. For them, we have the Emperor, more about you is the Seven of Swords for them, the Five of Cups, and potential outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so for your energy, the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. All right, so there is something here that you are feeling extremely exhausted by. Um, I feel like you're at your wit's end with a particular situation, whatever this is. And, but at the same time, it might be that you're actually avoiding it. Um, you might be feeling a huge sense of responsibility as well for a situation. And again, it's, I, I'm not sure if you're either um, avoiding that responsibility or just avoiding a situation because of a responsibility, okay? Um, for them, they have the Emperor and the Five of Cups, so they're... It's like this is someone who is trying to stand strong, someone who is really standing in their power here, but at the same time is also feeling like they're grieving a loss. <clears throat> Possibly thinking about the past here, which was something very beautiful, and now they don't have it. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Um... <clears throat> Having the Queen of Pentacles for the potential outcome, that's that's actually pretty positive. It is pretty positive. It talks about, you know, nurturing yourself and just, you know, coming to this place of understanding what it is that is best for you, okay? So either you or your person. We'll see. Let's start clarifying. Sun with the Two of Cups. Yeah. 
All right, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, okay, so here's that victim energy showing up again with the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody is feeling almost like there is no solution. There is no way around this. I feel like there's a loss. Um, I feel like there's nothing I can do about the situation, even though I know um, where I belong or where my heart belongs or where my heart wants me to go. And so I feel like this person is trying to emotionally detach, trying to keep their distance emotionally because of that. Um, it could be that there's another commitment here. I mean, to be honest, I feel like this is you, but feel free to reverse the roles because you're the one showing up here as avoiding a situation and feeling um, very, very exhausted. So I feel like it could, if this is you, then I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you feel some sort of a, a responsibility possibly to where your attention and where your energy needs to go. And because of that, you are, I feel like that is in contrast with where your heart wants you to go. And so because of that, you are trying to emotionally detach, feeling like there really isn't another solution here. So yeah, for the past energy, the Nine of Cups, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. There was something here that just felt really beautiful. It was very satisfying, very, very fulfilling, but this is the situation right now. So let me um, see the Ten of Wands for you. All right, we have the Three of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay, so for some of you, it could be that there is, um, there might be a third party situation. It's not going to be for all of you, but definitely could be for some of you. And this could be something that has just, you know, uh, worn you out, regardless of whether it is you that has this um, barrier or regardless of whether it is them. And it could be that that's where that, that's where that sense of responsibility is, is coming in. Um, Either way, I do see you wanting a reconciliation with this person, possibly, that we are talking about. But it feels like... I almost get the sense that you don't really know how to go about it. You, you want to be honest with this person, and I feel like you have been, for the most part, pretty honest. But it feels like there's just not much you can do when it comes to action. And again, I feel like that goes back to you feeling like, like you're just defeated as a victim here in, in this situation. Let me get one more for this. All right, yeah, the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you're, this is stressing you out. This is something that is weighing very, very, um, very heavy on you. And I feel like, because this card came out last kind of like on its own, I feel like there's an issue here with you feeling like um, whether or not you can have what you feel you deserve, whether you can become independent of this, this sense of responsibility, whatever that is, or this burden that you've been carrying. Like, how can you separate yourself from that? That is, I, that is something that causes you a lot of stress. Even though you do want this Two of Cups, you do want that Sun energy. It's almost like you feel like, like you don't have a choice almost, but but you always have a choice. That's the thing. Um, also, some of you might be dealing with a, a Leo, as that was the first card that showed up. So it doesn't have to be, just calling that out. We also have Cancer out here on the table, but it can, it can be any sign. All right, let me see the Seven of Swords. All right, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So that's two knights. 
So here's the thing, it's like you're trying to take action, you want to take action, you're thinking about how you can do this in a way that's going to be practical. I feel like you might be overanalyzing it a little bit um, and you might kind of go back and forth between moving really, really fast and then moving really, really slow. Like you might um, get this urge or this, have all of a sudden like this light bulb moment where you, you know, realize, okay, you know, there is a solution, there is something I can do and, and then and so you move really fast towards that and then, you know, something happens or the way you think about it, it makes you change your mind and then you slow down. Um, so it's almost like there's this stopping of energies. Notice how the, these two knights are like running into each other. They're not both headed in the same way. It's not like sometimes it's a, it's a fast movement and then it's a slow movement in the same direction. No, it's kind of like when you stop, when you slow down, it really just um, stops the movement completely. And I feel like that is why um, we have the Seven of Swords here. It's, I, I, I almost get that this might be like a defense mechanism where you might be, um, even though you want to move forward, something always comes up and there might even be a practical excuse. There might be something that is justifiable as an excuse to keep you from from moving forward in that direction and then you end up staying in this energy of the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Again, roles can be reversed, okay? Um, so let's see for the other person here. Let's clarify Emperor. All right, we have the Six of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay, so this person here is really trying to make a decision here. I feel like this person is might even be taking a step back, trying to see this situation like from the outside, being very, very objective and seeing the bigger picture. And because of that, they might be also deciding to take a step back in a way. Um, and this is, you know, to really just gain control over their own life. At least until this is figured out. Um, because I do feel like this person, this is something that they would really want. And this is why they're in this Five of Cups energy. Because they're feeling that loss. They're feeling that loss. Uh, so let's see, let's see what Five of Cups. Alright, we have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so this person is feeling very sad, very depressed. Um, Here's you showing up as this Queen of Wands. So this is somebody who really wants this connection with you. Like I said, they they, they have emotions for you. They they have a desire for you. But they're not sure what you're going to do. There's a lot of hesitation on their end, and they feel like they're just stuck waiting because you're like you're avoiding. You're in the Seven of Swords energy where it's like you take you know one step forward and then two steps back is what it feels like to them at least. Um, and this is causing them a lot of grief. And I feel like, yeah, that's why, you know, they're, they're trying to be strong here. They're trying to be strong and just keep their distance. They want to move towards something that is going to bring them to a calmer state. All right, I am seeing some quick action here, though, in the near future. So let's actually see that. Let's see. Period. All right, we have the Devil, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Okay, very interesting. Um, so I feel like this is, I feel like this is you possibly um, deciding once again to be like this Knight of Swords and moving quickly. Possibly moving quickly towards this person, right? Um, 
either to express yourself emotionally or to give them an offer. But we do have the devil here and the four of cups. So I feel like, you know, it again, it might be that you're doing that or that you're you're moving in that direction, but without without completely having resolved this situation. Um, I feel like there's still something here that that is just not resolved, pretty much. Um, And I don't know, I mean, I don't know how this, how the other person is going to react to that. I mean, this could even be their reaction here with this Four of Cups because, you know, them not being too happy about it if they know that, you know, there's still some, there's something here, okay, regardless of whether that is, that might be an addiction for some of you. Um, for others of you, it could be another relationship. It could be just about anything. It could be a fear that you're holding on to that is really serving as a barrier in this particular case, okay? It's going to be different for, for all of you, but whatever the case. Um, yeah, I feel like that might be something, you know, that you can think about before um, making a very, you know, decisive move, you know, make sure that you don't have this devil attached to you, okay? When I say devil, I mean, you know, like a toxic energy or something that is still unhealthy and unresolved, or at least, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being honest with somebody, you know, but at least be honest and let them know that this is what is going on, okay? Now, if the roles are reversed, if this is not you and this is your person, you know, then this could just be something to be mindful of. And I always feel like, you know, honest communication is always the best way to go. There's nothing wrong with being honest about certain things. Now, if this is you, all right, you are control of your future. You are control of what you do. So this could be just a little precaution, you know, like, you know, if you take this road, you know, then, well, it might not exactly lead to what you want. And that's completely in your, in your hands to control. It doesn't it doesn't have to be this way. This is not set in stone by any means. All right. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles because um that is a very positive card to have for the potential outcome here. So let's see Queen of Pentacles. All right. And we have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Empress. Okay, good. So yeah, there are challenges. There are difficulties in this situation. All right, there's that Ten of Wands, which I was saying is your energy here. Um, there's that burden. And yeah, it is difficult, okay, with that Nine of Wands. But this is something that when you persist, when you persist at, at really embodying your own energy, your own self-worth, and what it is that you deserve and taking care of yourself, you, you can reach that goal. That goal will be reached. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, for whoever it is that was in this Ten of Wands energy, all right, the person that I've been referring to as you, the Sagittarius, I feel like, yeah, you're moving towards that Empress. You're moving towards... It, and I'm saying that in um, it doesn't matter if you if it's male or female, okay? It's just that energy of really taking care of oneself and also feeling very confident within oneself and wanting to take care of oneself in a way where that Ten of Wands is going to be gone. Okay, so that's what I see with this um, potential outcome. I'm just seeing that, yeah, it does take, it is going to take some... Um, persistence and and having to push through it it's it's not something that is easy okay whatever the situation is for you it's not easy but it's definitely doable and i see you moving towards this energy okay and it, this also does remind me of the nine of pentacles which i was saying is being independent not having um a codependency or an attachment to something all right so very positive ending here um, some difficulties still in the situation, but very strong potential for a positive outcome. All right, Saji, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All 
All right, and we have Wandering Path. Enjoy the journey. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments if you're dealing with a Leo. I'm not 100% sure, but this may have come up for Leo, and I was feeling that that vibe um, throughout, or maybe even in Aries. So yeah, you know, it's depending on you know whichever side you're on in this in this reading. I feel like it's a it's a difficult one, regardless of whether you are the Sagittarius or the other person. Um, and so enjoy the journey might sound a little bit um, sarcastic, but it's not. It's all about, you know, being able to see the bigger picture and knowing that, yeah, you know, there is a journey to go to the destination. And sometimes, you know, that's where all the lessons are. So just try to, to make the best of the journey. All right. That's what I'm getting with that. So those were your messages, Sagittarius. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.